Hello everyone and welcome to this Melissa is AD theory video. Now, Melissa is one of my top three AD candidates, mainly because she has always been in the middle of every single mystery that has surrounded this show. Like, she was definitely a candidate for killing Allison, well, killing, trying to kill Allison. She was a candidate for killing Bethany Young, which she did. She buried Bethany Young. She was a candidate for killing Mrs. D, which ended up being Mary Drake, but, you know, her father has something to do with it. She was around it, you know, she gave an alibi for his father. And then she has been around Charlotte's murder. Even though it has been revealed to be Mona, she was around that mystery too. So... The main thing that makes me think of Melissa as AD is that we have never seen a scene between Melissa and Charlotte, if I think. They have talked about each other, but we have never seen a scene between them. It seems very shady because they were, they were the two persons who were surrounding everything. It is proved that there is a connection between them because Charlotte revealed in season 3, Charlotte said to Emily that Melissa took a picture of Cizzy, Allison, and Wilden in Cape May. My theory starts way before Allison disappeared, way before Charlotte arrived to Rosewood. It all started when Mary Drake gave birth in Radley. I believe that Mary Drake gave birth to twins. One of them was given to the Hastings because of the whole, you know, Peter Hastings thing. Because, let's face it, Peter Hastings is the one to blame for all this shit. Like, if someone had teached him how to keep his stick in his pants, we wouldn't have a show. One was given to the Hastings and, and the other one was given to the social services. And from there it was adopted by the young family, okay? Yes, young family. Spencer's twin is Bethany Young, okay? Why? Main simple thing. We have not seen her face. We have not seen Bethany, Bethany Young's face. And I believe that there's a reason for that. Bethany was adopted by the young family and she grew up and she obviously had some anger issues so she was put in Radley at an early age where she met Charlotte as Charles and they grew closer and they grew up. What happens, okay? Charlotte, Charles, leaves Radley to become Charlotte, to become the woman that, you know, she feels she is. And after that, I believe that Charlotte did not come back to Radley. Charlotte went, Charlotte moved into Rosewood. Charlotte went to Rosewood High to the same class that Melissa and Ian and Jason went, because I believe that they're at the same age. What I do believe is that Bethany and Charles were close, then Charles le left Radley to become Charlotte, then Charlotte lived in Rosewood as C.C. Drake, and Charlotte told Melissa that Spencer had a twin. The first, that Spencer was her sister, I believe that Melissa then went to Radley. Melissa went to Radley and went to meet Bethany Young, and realized that Bethany was a much better, in her head, that maybe Bethany was the sister that she always wanted, not Spencer, you know what I mean? Melissa started to grow closer with Bethany and by that means with Charlotte and the three of them became friends. Then comes that night, okay? That night, the person that Melissa was talking in a, ye in a fucking yellow top was Bethany Young. This has been confirmed by Marlene, Marlene has said that Charlotte did not lie. That night, Melissa was talking to Bethany and Jason shot him. Jason, stone as fuck, confused Charlotte by 
Bethany. Now, probably, like you, like we all know, Bethany went there because they found out that Jessica de Laurentiis was having an affair with her father. And when she got there with that yellow top, Melissa found her. Melissa was probably telling her, what the fuck are you doing here? Somebody's gonna see you. It's all gonna blow up. You can't be here. And probably Bethany said, yeah, okay, I'll leave. And as soon as Melissa turned, turned around, she was like, bitch, I'm staying. I'm staying. That's probably not what Bethany said, but Bethany was there. And that's when Mona came in, hit her with, hit her with a shovel. Now, I don't know if Melissa saw that or not, but Melissa came in. Bethany was on the floor. She knew who was that. She knew it was Bethany, okay? She knew it was Bethany and she threw her body there and she kind of, and she, you know, buried her. So then some, then Charlotte hid Allison thinking it was Bethany, which I'm not sure anyway. So that happened, Allison is put in the ground, Allison comes out, Allison leaves and everything stops. Then the game comes back, once Arya comes back to town, Mona plays the game and that then Mona is revealed. I think that Charlotte did not play the game with Mona during the first two seasons, neither did Melissa. I don't think that she played the game. But I think that they both were watching Mona. They knew what she was doing and they were like, mm, let's keep an eye on that. So when Mona was put into Radley, like Ren said back in season three, Melissa called Charlotte and told her, hey, that bitch, she's in Radley, go get her. And so they went, and that's when both Melissa and Charlotte played the game. Now, I know that Marlene had said in an interview, I think it was yesterday, that this A became A and started playing the game after Charlotte death but I don't I don't buy that so they played the game and so it came to a point where Charlotte was taking it too far and Melissa said oh uh, um, no no bitch no anyway Charlotte did it anyway go to the dollhouse she took over the game and that is when Charlotte's reign began now after that probably Melissa visited her at Welby you know, the start her relationship, I do believe that that scene from, I think it is, I don't know exactly which episode it is, but it, I know it is season 6B, but that scene where Mona, where Hannah has a flashback from when she was in London at a fashion show, and Melissa was there, and they met in the bathroom, and Melissa was crying, because Gwen left her, because Charlotte called and said, oh, you know your girlfriend buried Bethany Young alive? That was stage. That was pure bullshit. Melissa knew that Hannah was going to town and was like, well, you know, let's play a little bit with her. Archer was British. Now, I don't think that Archer found his way to Charlotte by his own. You know, Melissa was living in London and Archer was British, 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 British. I don't know why I say like British, but it's funny. They got her out and then she was killed by Mona. But let me tell you something. I, do, I don't think, we have not seen Mona throw her body over the bell tower. Now, I don't know if I should go that far and say that Melissa was the one who's through her body because I think it will be kind of like a it was not like oh this bitch it was more like I don't want her I don't want them to find her like this I want them to find her in an epic way but I do I believe that Melissa has been playing the game ever since Charlotte's death because she wanted to know who killed Charlotte and you know she wanted to get back to the game you know now this is not a spoiler, okay? But Merlin has said that there will be mask, very realistic mask in the finale, okay? So, I believe that the Spencer we saw on episode one from season seven, TikTok Bitches, when in Hannah's dream, 
it was Melissa in a Spencer's mask. This is pretty liars, guys. We have to realize that it is a possibility that it's that it 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 is a possibility that. The Spencer mask. Now you will say that she was talking. There is no way. Melissa has grown up with Pe with Spencer. Melissa Melissa knows how Spencer walks. Melissa knows how Spencer talks. Melissa knows how Spencer's how Spencer eats. Melissa knows Spencer. So I think it was pretty easy for her to fake her voice and just be like, uh, "Don't tell anyone." And I really, really hope and pray for her to attend Estria's wedding in the finale in the Black Widow costume. It will be so good. So good. So good. Anyway, this is all that I have to say about Melissa being AD. I do believe that it's very possible that she is. She's one of my three suspects, which are... She's, a, she's actually like kind of the number two option, like the most realistic option is a Spencer's twin for me. And then Melissa, and after Melissa will be Ezra. Now I don't know if I will be doing a theory video for each one of them. I wanted to make a Melissa one because out of the, out of the three, she's the one that I want to happen. You know, she's the one that I, I'm craving for. Now for me, the perfect ending will be Alison being AD, but that we all know that that's not gonna happen. So, also, who will be Emerson's baby father? Ren. I'm, I'm just... I'm, if, if it's Melissa, who is AD, it's very possible that she ask Ren for some semen. Why not? It could happen. Although I would love to love oh my god i just realized that i would love if melissa loved charlotte so much that she took charlotte's sperm that she froze before she became a woman and in impregnate allison with it i know it will be sick but it will be so good so good so good so i'm so excited about i'm so excited about the finale so tell me what do you think do you think it's possible that melissa is ad do you think it's not possible what do you think tell me thoughts theory any comments anything that maybe you maybe you agree with me that melissa might be ad but you don't think that it's gonna happen in the same way that i think so tell me feel free to put it all in the comment section below and I'll see you maybe before the finale or maybe after. Now, I don't know if I will be alive to send you a video. Thank you so much for watching. So, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.